Hello, welcome to Art of the Light. So you do Pelin Shankar Anand here. Today I have a delicious, nutritious mung bean dal recipe for you. So let's get started. I have a cup of whole green mung beans here, soaked overnight in water. Firstly, I'm going to drain and wash the beans. Now I'm going to add two cups of fresh water and a teaspoon of salt and then boil them until they get soft. While the beans are boiling, I'm gonna prepare the other mixtures. In this way, we'll prevent the spices from burning. Everything will be ready on hand. I'll start by adding a teaspoon of turmeric, one eighth of a teaspoon cumin, a quarter of a teaspoon of curry powder, a heaped teaspoon of paprika, a quarter of a teaspoon of coriander powder, a quarter of a teaspoon green cardamom powder, a teaspoon of cinnamon and mix them. At the other hand, I'll add my secret weapon, <laughs> vegetarian chicken stock powder into a cup of water. This is totally optional. It will be still delicious even if you don't add it. I just love adding a bit extra flavor on it. I added a tablespoon of ghee. You can use oil if you prefer. Once the ghee is heated, I'm going to add a teaspoon of mustard seeds. Before adding all the mustard seeds, you can check if the oil is hot enough to pop the seeds by adding one in it. If it pops, then add the rest of them. Mustard seeds are popped. Now I'm going to add one chopped onion in it and going to cook them till they slightly colored. And then I add a half capsicum in it because my <laughs> capsicum was too big. So if yours is smaller, medium size, you can add the whole one or you can add the big one if you prefer. I'll cook this for about 2 to 3 minutes. Onions and capsicum are totally cooked. Now I'm going to add 2 pinches of asafoetida. Now I'm adding 3 bay leaves in it. And a tablespoon of minced garlic. And a teaspoon of ginger paste. I'm going to cook them together one to two minutes more. You can use fresh garlic and ginger too. The ghee started sizzling again. It means that I can add the spice mixture that I prepared in advance. I only will going to mix the spices three to five seconds and then I will add the water mixture in it. Just make sure not to mix them too much because we don't want to burn the spices otherwise they will going to have a bitter taste and ruin all the taste of the food. Now I'm adding the water on it. I'm going to mix them just to make sure that everything blended well and going to put them aside. The beans are cooked. I'll wash and drain them first then going to put them back into the pot. I'm adding a cup of fresh water and also the remaining mixture in it. I'm just going to mix them to make sure that everything blends each other well. Now I close the lid and going to bring it to a boil. Once it starts boiling, I add a teaspoon of salt and a bit of black pepper in it. And also I'm going to add the chopped fresh coriander leaves. Give it a mix and then we can turn off the heat and close the lid. Lastly, we are going to rest it for about two minutes. I'm garnishing it with fresh coriander leaves and enjoy it with rice pilaf. I hope you all tried this delicious nutritious recipe. Leave a comment below if you make this please. I would like to hear from you too. Cheers!